See, right there. There he is. There you go, Brandon. Got a fish, bro. Come on, Come on, dude. It's a shallow water adventure for Captain Brandon Simmons, who makes his way to the southwest coast of Florida and onto the front deck of Aussie Fisher's first gen 26 foot Costa Custom boat. Got him. Nice. Nice red. Absolutely. Redfish and snook are the targets for the guys. Get a bait in there while it's hot. Don't tell me twice, bro. <laughs> and we also learn more about how Coast to Custom boats are made with a trip to the factory in Clearwater, Florida. West Marines Life on the Water, presented by Costa Custom Boats. Hurricane Ian has made landfall now in southwest Florida. The storm surge is going to be historic. It will be life-threatening. The National Hurricane Center predicts water levels could rise as much as 18 feet. In 2023, the islands of Southwest Florida took a direct hit from massive Hurricane Ian. And while the storm impacted almost every resident's home and many of the classic beach businesses, the will to rebuild was never in question. Everywhere you look today, work is being done to create a stronger and more vibrant community around Fort Myers Beach. At the northern end of Estero Island, the Pink Shell Resort, is a shining example of this spirit. Seeing how fast a lot of these places, these restaurants, the resort like the Pink Shell have bounced back and recovered, it's really incredible to see the resilience of the people in this area. In fact, all the species of life have been rebounding as nature's resilience is exemplified in the redfish and snook populations along the flats that stretch north past Sanibel Island to Captiva and Boca Grande. A classic fight for a shallow fish like the red and snook pairs perfectly with a spinning reel. For the latest selection from top brands, Brandon visits his good buddy Carlos Ruiz at West Marine. Carlos! What's up, Brandon? What's up, buddy? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How are you? Great. Where are you headed? We're going to Fort Myers Beach. Sweet. Yeah, good gonna, snook fishing around there, boy. Yeah, I need something, you know, not too small, not too big, doing a little tarpon fishing, maybe a little snook fishing, and definitely some red fishing. Got it. Well, I got a little variety going on here. I was just cool. working on the reels. This one here is a 2500. Right. More, you know, if you're going to be casting all day, something on the lighter side. Yeah, that's smooth. Um, not much line capacity, so something like a tarpon may, you know, you may run out of line quick. The next size that's popular out there are the 4000s, a little more line capacity. Okay. Uh, we got a new model here from Shimano. It's nice and light. Oh, wow, dude, so that if you're looking is so for something light. really light, that's a nice one. Yeah, absolutely. That's the style that I like, that handle right there. Good deal. This is a workhorse here, that's the pen. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little more light bait action if you don't plan to throw artificials around all day. That's got a little more ump to it, you know? A little more beef. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, some of this area, especially after the hurricane over there in Fort Myers, Sanibel area, there's definitely some structure, a lot of hard bottom areas. I'm gonna probably need to get something to wench these fish out of those. No doubt. Those little, you know, debris areas. Well, this guy here's made the handle braid so we can pump like it up that. with whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, you think I can get one of those and one of these? Maybe, maybe put some 20 pound braid on that one and some 15 on the smaller one. All right, man, I'll cool. get it. Appreciate you letting fall, man. We're gonna double up. Cast it as far as you can, that second bar. That a boy! There he is! Yeah, oh. smoked you. <laughs> Bring her off the boat. Nice. Look at it coming at you. Double up. Oh, there's like a hundred fish Look here, bro. Holy cow. Brandon is Florida born and bred. And while he's been guiding in the Keys for over 10 years, he's been to these Southwest Florida waters only a handful of times. He always looks for people who share his passion for saltwater. And his trip with Nick Fisher last year, exploring the flats and landing large, healthy reds, has him fired up to do it all again. Beautiful, dude. Good job. Thank you so much, bro. Yeah, man. Nick Fisher's brother, Ozzy, is also a guide, and the two brothers grew up fishing with their father, first as mates and now as respective charter captains for inshore fishing. 
Using the Pink Shell Resort and Marina as home base, Brandon is going to spend time with Ozzy on this trip and see how the fish population has recovered in the 12 months since the hurricane. What's going on, Ozzy? Hey, Brandon, how you doing, man? Good, man, good morning. Good to see you. You as well, bro, you as well. Welcome to the area. That's right. Back in the Pink Shell Resort, dude. Yeah, great place to be. Oh, yeah. It's nice since it's back open. It's a little chilly this morning. Very chilly. Yeah. First big cold front of the year, so we'll definitely have to work at it. I ain't scared of some work. Let's get after it, bro. All right, let's go. Cool, man. I was raised here. My dad was a charter captain out of Captiva Island, so I grew up on the water. I've been here my whole life. I'm 51 years old, so I've, I've been on, I've had a fishing pole since I can stand. All right, Brandon, so what we're gonna do, this tide's still going out. Throw it out, you're gonna feel it roll. Right. Bop, 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 hard bottom, muddy bottom. Oh. There you go, Brandon. Woo, there he is, bro. Nice. We had to start somewhere. Got one. Welcome aboard. Yes, sir. Oop. Oh, perfect. Perfect release. <laughs> Great way to get the day started. Yep. West Marine's Life on the Water, presented by Costa Custom Boats, is brought to you by West Marine. No more, get more, boat more. Only at West Marine. Costa Custom Boats. Pelican Kayaks. Smith's Knives, the edge experts. Omnisense Systems, dominate the night. And by Taya Walker, the premier Florida Keys fishing experience. There we go. Eat it. They're right there. That's definitely snuck right there where that bait's acting. There he is. Got him. Got him on, dude. It's a windy morning with the temperatures just low enough to call for a second layer out on the water. But for Ozzy Fisher and Brandon Simmons, the action is heating up. Nice little snook. Get a start. Oh, oh. there you got a bite. There you go. Oh, he's a little, a little better fish than mine. A little better, a little better. There we go. Woo! There we go, Brandon. Nice. Go. nice. A little better snook. Yeah. Take them, bro. Yeah. Perfect. See how white they get on the end of that so sand? So white. They really. He's clean looking too. Later, man. when we're fishing the flats, they'll get a lot darker up here. But you get them on that beach and this water gets muddy. Even if we catch a redfish here, it'll get white like this. Yeah. There we go. Nice. The mighty snook is synonymous with Florida sport fishing. And through careful management of the fishery, the population is more abundant than ever. The Fort Myers Beach area has produced some of the largest snook to be found in Florida waters, with a 44-pound monster caught in 2015. Right. Nice way to get us started there, Cap. You try another spot? I think with this tide coming in. Tide coming in. You can't catch a big fish unless you try for That's it. That's facts, buddy. Let's go try one that's drifting on the other side. I think we're gonna fish the flats. I'm willing to try if you are. Oh yeah. These are the first cold fronts we're seeing this year. And any time you get a big change in water temperature, you know you're gonna have to bounce around. You know these fish have moved from where they were last week to wherever they might have moved with this cold water. Ozzy's been doing this long enough that, you know, this isn't his first time. He's had to deal with cold fronts and changing conditions. I'd throw it to the water, a little bit to the right in that sand. Just laying in there for warmth or what? Yeah, finally got a little bit of cleaner water. A little cleaner water. Warming up a little bit. There. Oh, got him, bro. <laughs> nice. There we go. When our water's up high, we like fish. to fish around oyster bars and around these islands. But with these cold fronts, it drops so much of the water out. What we're doing is having to fish off the edges in what's called potholes, or which are depressions. Just kind of working through those potholes, trying to find which hole's holding the fish. There we go. Nice. Snook. Nice, bro. Thank Not you. A bad one, brother. Good looking snook, man. See if there's a couple more laid up in there. 
We're gonna find out. We're doing a couple things today. We are fishing live bait and artificial bait. There he is. There you go, Brandon. Got a fish, bro. Artificials, we we're throwing topwaters and gold spoons. Hey, Margie, that's a nice one there. <laughs> Whoa, little jumper. Oh, oh, oh. I'm on Got him on, dude. A little better one there, huh? Yeah, ate a pimpfish. Oh, yeah. The gold spoon is really probably my favorite for artificial. It's a really good way to cover a lot of ground, kind of locate the fish. And then once you locate the fish, if you want to put, get them on bait or just keep throwing artificials at them. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, dude. Yeah, nice. Oh, I'm going to grab them for you. Yeah, that'd be great. I can, I can get them. Got them? Yeah, grab another bait. Get a bait yeah, in there while it's hot. Bait in there. Don't tell me twice, bro. <laughs> Dude. You got him on the tail hook pinner? Yep. There's really some big snuck again in this bar. Setting out from the iconic Pink Shell Resort and Marina, it's a new day for Captain Brandon Simmons and Captain Ozzy Fisher. After exploring the southwest Florida waters for snook yesterday, today they are targeting the redfish under bluebird skies. Man, it's nice that that wind came down. See the dark grass and then these holes? Mm -hmm. These fish, the depressions are always sand, so that sand warms up, holds a little more warmth. So they're yeah. just in there laying in there getting yeah. warm? Warm and uh, two feed too, the ambush stuff, because you got to picture the grass sticks up and then that drops down, so the bait fish, they'll safe right here and they'll venture out and they just come up and grab them. Yeah. Got him. Nice. 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 Redfish. Here's the old copper back. Nice, dude. Copper clad crab cruncher. Pretty one. Come on, get him, Cap. That's a good little chunky one, man. Yeah, nice little redfish. We've been getting a lot of these lately about this size. Yeah. 25, 26 inches. Dude, I'll take that all day. Let me grab them for you. Yeah, sure. Not very often people get. I got my you, fish. buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brandon. No problem. Nice red. Absolutely. A 26 incher. Oh yeah. See how dark they get. Yeah, this, man. This time of year. Blends in with this water, huh? They really blend in. Awesome. Oh, look at that blue tail on them, dude. Yeah. Have you ever noticed like little gag groupers will get that too, and them they get that from eating shrimp and crustaceans. As they get older, they'll lose that blue. Nice, bro. There it goes. Nice. Awesome. Think there's a couple more laid up there? Oh, probably like 100. Ozzy <laughs> <laughs> Fisher's been bringing people out onto the magical waters around Sanibel and Captiva Islands for years. And he's been doing it in his 26-foot catamaran that was the genesis of Costa Custom Boats. Based in Clearwater, Florida, Costa Custom Boats has expanded into larger vessels that can carry anglers and boating enthusiasts to just about anywhere they want to go. Costa's been working with Ozzy now for about five years, and we chose to work with him because he had such great notoriety in the Fort Myers area. He's a second generation captain down there, and we got a lot of respect for what he does. When we sea trot him on the 26, he realized that it was much more capable than any other platform in that class that he's used. And he's put thousands of hours on the product and shown customers what it can do both inshore and offshore. And what's important about the construction of both the 26 and 34 and our future models that we'll build here in our assembly department is that they're three-piece boats, and when putting together those three pieces, we have a significant amount of bonding surface both down the entire hull side and down the tops of our tunnels, which gives you the best possible strength that you can get when you're putting these boats together so that when they perform at their higher speeds at 70 plus miles an hour, it's a very safe and structurally sound vessel. Brandon Simmons has utilized Costa Custom Boats for just about any saltwater activity. From free diving, to hauling kayaks, to hauling in sailfish, the line of boats from coast to custom has been more than capable. As we design new models like we did with the 34 and as we're working on our 44 right now, 
we involve our top leaders in our manufacturing staff to make sure that the quality product that we're going to produce for our customers carries over to producing a quality manufacturing process as well. All of this material, both the fiberglass and the core, is all CNC cut and the reason that we do that is to ensure consistency in both structure and quality from each vessel to the next. All of the little details to us are very important with that first model and with our future models since the 34 is going to be primarily an offshore vessel you know the dead rise of that boat changed and the running surface to give you a soft ride in rough water so you can fish on even more days. We also started to bring the custom sport fish finish into the interior of the boat so going with all fiberglass compartments, nothing starboard or acrylic, recessed mounts, all blind fasteners on our T-top, those are the things that are important to us as we design the 34 and as we're working on our 44-foot model right now. This customer selected uh, you know, specific gel coat colors and a color combination that's really gonna show very well on the water. It's a beautiful light blue. It's gonna be a twin engine power package and he's got 24-inch Simrads up on the dash. It's a full electronics package on this one. The boat will be fishing out in Louisiana and Mississippi for tuna and wahoo. Bringing our 44 to market will continue to solidify Costa as a timeless brand in the custom boat market. A boat that is truly custom, the Costa Custom will get you to the good water time after time. West Marine's Life on the Water, presented by Costa Custom Boats, is brought to you by Scales, every degree of water. Costa sunglasses, see what's out there. Waypoint TV, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Ameritrail, load, launch, relax. BioEsk Marine, pro solutions. And by the Pink Shell Resort and Marina. The only thing we overlook is the beach. There we go. Oh. Now the trout. Nice. Nice trout. Yeah. Nice speckled trout. Yeah, for sure, man. Under less than ideal conditions, Brandon Simmons and Ozzie Fisher right. have been discovering that if you put yourself in position, the fish are ready to bite. And a sea trout is a beautiful reward for the effort. Nice trout. For sure, man. I think it's our prettiest inshore fish. I agree. You know all the spots? Yellow mouth. Oh, yellow mouth. Oh, yellow mouth. That's right. That's spoon. awesome, man. Right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, perfect. He hammered that spoon. Yeah, he did. Nice. Pretty fish. All right, well, we're getting a couple hits on these spoons. We'll just keep working them yeah, for a little for sure. bit. I love nice. to see it, man. Those things are so pretty. Well, that gives us the slam. Yeah. Snook red and a trout. That's right. Got hey, the slam. No complaints here, buddy. A lot of the inshore fishery is typically catch and release. These fish are important to us in, in the state of Florida. They're important for our, our charter guides. You know, they're important for me, for our next generation, for my kids to be able to come out here and catch these fish. Big snook. Yeah, nice snook. Not a pretty big snook right there. They're up here. So we got to take care of them, you know, and a lot of what we do on the inshore side of things is, is catch and release. You know, we like to go have fun with these fish, but safely release them back into their natural habitat. There's a redfish. Yeah? Yep. That way they can continue to grow, continue to spawn, and continue to give us these lifetime of adventures on the water. Oh, there's fish following me. Redfish right behind me. Big, see the big red right behind him? See him? Right yep, there. Yep, yep, yep. Big redfish. Oh, you ran from it. A little red. A little big red fall. Yeah, a little man. red. Oh, that was a big red fish. <laughs> a little red fish. Nice. Look at this. Look how blue that tail gets. That's crazy. Look at that blue. Nice. Nice. I'd rather, we'd rather have the one that was falling. this. Yeah. That was a big red that fish. That was a big one. We'll keep going down here. We're definitely, I've had that, we had another red hit and trout. There you go. Nice. <laughs> There's a better fish. That's there a better one there, man. He came out acting like he was big. Yeah, for sure. The wind went away, the warm weather came out, and a bad little snook. No, man. 
He smoked it. It was a really Holy incredible shit. day of fishing. Just, I'm really nice. fortunate to be able to get out with Captain Ozzy, have a great time on the water, have him show me where he grew up, where his dad grew up fishing, where his brother's grown up fishing. You know, it's a really Sharp awesome a family blade. legacy that they have going on here in the Fort Myers Beach area. Here we go. Nice little snook. Yeah, there, chunky. We got definitely a little bite going on here now. No doubt. It's a good one, man. Got them popping. Piece in the bait, a few redfish mixed in here. Oh yeah, that's a pretty looking snook there, bro. Nice. What a day, dude. This trip has made it abundantly clear that the fish are more than recovering from the hurricane. They're flourishing in these magical flats around Fort Myers Beach.